What's going on with YouTube? It's your main man, Fortress, and we're back again with another video, man. We appreciate y'all for tuning in and rocking out with us, man. Big shout out to everybody out there that's doing their thing in this young sneak game, man. We appreciate y'all so much for your love and support. Keep commenting. Make sure you smash, smash, like, like, hit the like button, smash that like button. Make sure you comment down below. Keep doing all those good things for us. Put a little ticket ticket in the comments because that helps the channel to grow to a whole nother level. Man, remember, if this is your first time at the channel, man, whether you're a veteran in the game or this could be your rookie season in cop and sneakers, this could be the channel for you. Because we do on feats, we do sneaker reviews, we, we buy shoes, we sell shoes, we do all sorts of things on this channel, man, and oh, so much more. So remember, if you like the content that you find on this channel, then share it with a friend. But remember, your mama taught you. If you don't got nothing nice to say, then, man, let's get back into it, man. Because remember, fortunes is a finesse and nothing less than that. Man, y'all know the rest of it, man. Let's get into it, man. What is going on? I hope y'all are doing well. Man, it is a crazy time. In the last video, man, there was some breaking news that came across as I was doing the video. According to Sneaker, Sneaker Freaker Magazine, man, they said that JD Sports just bought out Hibbets, man. Now, here's the thing, is you got to recognize that there is a potential that they are monopolizing the joint because I believe they own Hibbets, DTLR, JD, Finish Line. So all of them are one. But hey, I ain't gonna hold y'all. My number one source, my number one resource is JD Sports. Let's go. So, man, because look, they got them coupons. So, you know, my former source used to be Foot Locker, but, man, they ain't doing nothing for you, boy. They ain't doing nothing for you, man. And with Flavor Flav, I can't do nothing for you, man. That's basically Foot Locker is Flavor Flav. They can't do nothing for you, man. What happened with them bread fours? They told me that I hit, and all they did was give me some kid sizes, man, and I could have got those anywhere. It's all good, though. You know, no harm, no foul, no salt in the wound. But, man, I'm telling you, man, Foot Locker used to be the go-to, the GOAT, when it came to picking up shoes, man. But now it's kind of like, why would you go to them when they give you all these points for buying all this stuff, and then you use them for the drops, and then they don't even give them to you, and then they don't give you any coupons, and they say, look, here go a keychain. It costs you 20,000 points for a keychain. I don't know. How do y'all feel about it? But when you go to JD, not only do they got the stuff on sale sometimes, but they let you use the points... Plus, use the points for your coupons. So, you can get maybe a $15 coupon, a $20 coupon. That goes a long way when you're buying a lot of shoes. You know, if you're only buying like two shoes a year, it doesn't really matter. You're just buying like an 11 and a 4, then that's it. Or maybe one, one shoe for the school year, and that's it. You, you know, it doesn't really it doesn't really help you. But, man, when you're buying a lot of shoes, man, that stuff really comes in handy. So, I mean, yeah, I would definitely say, man, definitely JD is taking over. But see, what you want in the sneaker community, you want to have options. So you don't want to be locked into one because now it's like, dang, now it's Foot Locker versus JD Sports or something like that. But see, for me, the way I buy shoes, I got options. Either I can go on JD Sports. If I can't get it there, then I go Nike. If I can't get it there, then I go DTLR. If I can't get it there, then I go to Foot Locker. Or I may even go Champs before them. And then I'll go to Foot Locker. But, man, I mean, Foot Locker used to be the spot back in the day. But they ain't giving out no coupons, no exclusive access, nothing. And that's another one, exclusive access. You know, they ain't doing nothing to help you get these shoes. And um, and here's the thing. So, look, check out this, too. I may even go on Facebook and get to get the shoes. You know, if I can't get them from any of those, those brick-and-mortar places, then I may go on Facebook. I may go on Macari. I may go offer up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I may go on Craigslist. No, I ain't going on Craigslist. Now you must be tripping about that. But <laughs> I'm just trying to tell y'all, you want to have options. I mean, I think Poison is out there. You, oh, StockX? Man, I mean, StockX, that's kind of like, I don't know. If if it's not a serious, serious shoe, then you go StockX. But if it's like really serious, oh, eBay. That's another one, eBay. So, man, you could even go eBay, man, to cop some shoes. I would definitely recommend eBay because you don't have to pay so much fees, at least in this state that we live in. If you cop a shoe off eBay, all you have to do is pay shipping and handling. 
they got rid of the taxes for the shoes in this state. But I'd be seeing people in other states, if I sell a shoe on there, man, they'd be paying a whole bunch of money. I'd be like, dang. So, man, you know, and that's the thing. You factor in the shipping and handling costs. Sometimes it's a lot. Sometimes it's just... And most of the time, it's only like $15 or something like that if, if they ship it ground. But once they get into priorities and first class stuff, it costs cost too much money. So anyway, y'all, man, what is going on? We had a drop today, man. That's why I'm wearing these colors, man. Y'all know what time it is. I hit y'all with that early, early review of this Dunk SB, y'all. What's going on, man? Did, were y'all able to get these? Woo, man, I sure am glad I bought these early, man. Early, early, man. Fortunes is early for for the first time. This was my first early look. Was these joints the Hyper Royal Malachite? Man, what are y'all thinking of these shoes? Bam! So man, I actually forgot to go for them again. I was gonna go for them again and maybe try to get a size ten for retail. And your boy straight up forgot, but it was okay though because I picked them up early. Let's go! So man, I have been seeing the prices steadily rise on these. So I think more and more people are finding out that this is one of the better SBs to release this year, man. So I mean, it, it these are really, really nice. I mean, I think it's a great shoe. Again, whether you go with the sail laces or you go with the green laces, they didn't put any blue laces. I'm very surprised. You might be able to find one from another shoe and throw them in here. Some nice real blue rope laces. I think that would look really good. But anyway, man, what are y'all thinking, man? I'm personally thinking these shoes are pretty fire. They are absolute fire. Um, I'm actually going to be wearing them this week. So, again, I've got my Jordan 1 High Gore-Tex, Jordan 1 Element Gore-Tex joints that I'm busting out. I, sh I put them in the last video. And I'm also going to be wearing these. Bam! These joints as well. So, I mean, yeah, man, y'all better hurry up and watch that video before it gets taken down. But... <laughs> So your boy made a mistake in the video. I thought we had a certain permission to do that video, but apparently we did not. So that video is going to be taken down, so you better hurry up, watch it while you can. Bam! So, man, we got the Phantom Malachite, but that's not the only thing we got to talk about. Okay, so exclusive access. All right, so all right, we are on the road to the Military Blue Fours, y'all. So, again, exclusive access, explanation of exclusive access to qualify... You have to meet certain criteria to get exclusive access, okay? So, man, it basically breaks down like this. You have to take certain L's throughout the year of previous other Jordan releases, shock drops, etc. So, etc. Kobe's, Jordan 4, Brand Reimagine, Jordan 4. Uh, you know, basically, you, you should not have been able to hit on a previous Jordan in order to get exclusive access. But you could say all that that you want to do and still not hit. You could take all those L's and still not get, get selected for exclusive access. So your boy has gotten selected for exclusive access not once, but twice. And guess what shoes it was? Guess what shoes I got exclusive access for? Okay. Oh, oh man. Oh, look at that. They gave me exclusive access. Oh, man. What shoe is it? The Satin Bread Jordan 1's. Oh, come on now. Man, what are y'all doing? Did y'all even look at my shoe size? Okay, so your boy gets exclusive access to the Jordan 1 Satin Breads. A women's shoe. With no extended sizing. That only goes up to a 10 and a half in men's. What are you doing? It's size 12. Okay, well, thanks, Nike. What am I supposed to do with this? Sell it? Okay, so that was absolute trash. And guess what the second shoe was that I got exclusive access to? Two, the Nike Dunk Low Bacons, another women's shoe. Thanks, Nike. I mean, thanks, thanks, exclusive access. Okay, so here, here, here's my point: is that joint is most likely garbage. Okay, I do know a friend that got exclusive access to a super hype shoe, which I'm gonna show you guys uh, in another video. But, I mean, I, I still don't know how he got exclusive access to, to that. And he didn't buy it because he wanted the other one. He wanted a, a different shoe. But we'll, we'll talk about that in another video. So, anyway, man, y'all have an opportunity to get the, uh, what's the name? The uh, Jordan 4 Military Blues. I believe it's going down tomorrow. It's either tomorrow or Friday. But I'm not really... 
I really don't care. I mean, like you said, I got look, I got eighty eight thousand points. Okay, Full Locker be lying. Uh, Nike's lying. They all lying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, this is what I want to talk about. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just playing. Nike is good. Full Locker is good. Okay, it's good. Okay, here if you look, if you pull out your Flex app, you see that right there. My phone is so old. It's like crying right now and saying, "Put me, put me down." Okay, so uh, we got the jump man Jax coming out, y'all. What's going on? We're still on the road to military blues, but we getting a roll block or a roll bump. And man, we got these Travis Scotts, man. What is good? Who's copping? All right, anyway, they have here a sweepstakes. Full Locker has a sweepstakes going on right now that you can use your points to enter an exclusive contest for a shot of the coveted. Travis Scott collabs. Okay, let's read some of the details. We're not going to read all of them. We'll read some of them here. So, in order to get the the, uh, the joint, you can use your FLX points. The sweepstakes... Oh, so it looks like you can do a, a PlayStation 5 sweepstakes, a Choose Your Shoe sweepstakes, and there's a there's a lot of rewards. But here's the thing, man. Nobody cares about that stuff. We want the coupons. Guess, just give us the coupons. Okay, so... Okay, so let's see how many points it, it, it costs to... To use it. Okay, let's see. Of course, it doesn't work. All right, so, okay, again. You know, <laughs> so basically, you know, you got you got to sign into this trash. And, I mean, I have somehow, I have 86,000 points. And, and it's basically worthless because none of that stuff, I mean, let me know. If y'all if y'all have a different experience with Foot Locker, let me know. Let me know because, I mean... It's very interesting. Okay, I, I signed in. Okay, here it goes. Okay, so it costs 20,000 points to enter into this Travis Scott contest. 20,000. Come on, man. What are y'all doing? Okay, there's a there's a sweepstakes for a chance to win a PlayStation 5 or a $50 gift card. Really? All right, that's cool. Or there's a sweepstakes to choose your own sweepstakes in April of 2024. Really? Come on, man. Just give us the coupons. We don't care about none of that. Anyway, y'all, uh, you got a chance. <laughs> you got a chance to win. You got to spend twenty thousand points, and I've got eighty, almost eighty-six thousand. Okay, so rare sneaker alert. If you've been saving your points for something big, now is the best time to use them. Introducing our platinum sweepstakes series giving our highest point earners an excellent chance to win one of the most coveted rare kicks on the charts right now. The Travis Scott X Jordan Jumpman Jack Sale is a limited edition shoe that initially debuted on the night of the Grammys, February of this year. They're fetching for a pretty penny on the streets, so this could be your best chance to win a pair of your own. Are you feeling lucky? Well, the more times you enter, the greater chances you have of winning. Find awesome sneakers like these and more at Foot Locker. All right, that's a bunch of baloney. It sounded even worse when I read it. It sounded even worse because look at this. It says as many times as you enter. So that means I have I have eighty six thousand points, right? So I can enter more than once. So that means it costs twenty thousand points per time to enter into the sweepstakes. Come on, man. What? That's a scam. It's a scam. And all the other sweepstakes only cost like 1,000 or 7,000 points. So anyway, y'all, come on, man. We know when we get scammed. Just pay to resale. Just pay to resale. Remember, when we're going to do this draw. We're going to do this draw. We're going to take an L. And they're going to offer it to sell us for 900 And we're going to pay 600 All right. So here, that's what's going to be. Man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. And rocking out with us, man. I, I hope y'all like this video, man. We're going to be on the road to this Military Blues exclusive access or not. We don't need it. We don't even want it. We don't care because we cop it anyway. It don't matter. So, and remember, y'all, we need to go in. We may need to go into the store and look at the pair to make sure it doesn't have any defects and, and flaws, you know, because now they're sending out the B-grade pairs. So, you got to check your size. When you get the shoe, don't just be like, all right, thank you. No, look at the shoe, inspect it, make sure you got a good pair, y'all, because I'm hearing a lot of uh, uh, factory flaws and defects. So, again, man, appreciate y'all tuning in and rocking with us, man. Were y'all able to cop? I heard these joints sold out pretty quick, but your boy fell asleep at the switch, but it's all right. 
Make sure you keep doing all those good things for people in your life that do all those good things for you. Same way Kanye said, nothing's ever promised tomorrow today. So go ahead and wear your shoes because you don't know what could happen tomorrow. So, man, we appreciate y'all. If we can't catch you on the flip side, we got to catch you in the next one.